The German blitzkrieg during World War II turned Europe into a battlefield for nearly six years. During that time, the Nazis stole millions of pieces of art from museums and private collectors all over the continent. In 1943, President Franklin Roosevelt formed a group of artists, museum directors, art historians, and educators, and gave them the task of protecting Europe's art treasures from destruction. The group came to be known as the Monuments Men, and they're subject of a new book called The Monuments Men, Allied Heroes, Nazi Thieves, and the Great greatest treasure hunt in history. And we're joined by the author, Robert Edsel. Good morning. Good morning. Such an interesting uh, concept to look ahead before the war really gets underway and to understand that you want to save the infrastructure, save the artwork. What a task. Well, these, mon these men and women, museum directors, curators, as you mentioned, who average age 40 years old, established careers. Most of them had families. Really, they would qualify in today's terminology of what the heck were you thinking to walk away from having it made to go risk your life during combat to try and save these cultural treasures. Initially, their focus were structures, churches, and other things, hence the name monuments men but in the course of time they started looking for these portable works of art the great treasures throughout the museums in Europe Michelangelo sculptures paintings by Leonardo da Vinci and they found them in thousands of hiding places stolen by the Nazis and how did they find those hiding places I understand there was one story of a guy who was getting some work done for on his teeth and he spilled the beans explain to us some of these stories well one of these monuments men had a had a normal everyday life happen I mean you figure the war is going on for more, almost three years for the American men that were in the war he had a root and needed a root canal and uh, went to go see a German dentist who happened to have a son-in-law who he said just came back from Germany and knew a lot of this information, came back from Paris and knew a lot of this information. And in fact, he had the key information that led to a discovery of a salt mine in Altasse, Austria, which was the great works of art. Hitler had destined for his uh, world famous museum called the Fuhrer Museum in Linz, Austria. How difficult was it to get some of that artwork back? Well, it was enormously difficult. And in fact, today, there are hundreds of thousands of works of art still missing, worth billions of dollars. And we're really just poised to watch the final chapter of this history be written as uh, people of the World II, World II generation start to die. Uh, and we're going to see over the next 10, 15 years, so many of them pass. My father died last year, was a veteran of the Pacific Theater. These things that are in attics and basements, uh, hanging on walls f around the world, not just the United States, certainly in the Eastern countries of Europe, uh, people are gonna ask, what is it, where did it come from, how did you get it? So we're gonna find a lot of the things that are still missing, and that's one of the roles that we have at this Monuments Men Foundation, to continue to preserve the legacy of these important men and women that served so brilliantly, not just the United States, but civilization. And I understand some of these men and women took over key roles that we would be familiar with here in the United States, MoMA and some other big museums. That's exactly right, Michelle. I mean, the director of the New York City Ballet, uh, the founder of it, Lincoln Kirstein, uh, the sixth director of the Met, uh, Jim Rohrmer, who's on the front cover of the book. Uh, and we tell their story using never before seen letters home to their wives and kids that these guys wrote during combat because they describe the story such as them having to hitchhike across Europe because the army, while they empowered them, didn't give them any vehicles. Uh, and these stories are repeated over and over again. Fascinating personal stories I know readers are going to enjoy. All right, very good. Robert Edsel, thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. And the book, again, is called The Monuments Men, Allied Heroes, Nazi Thieves, and the Greatest Treasure Hunt in History.